someone offers you drugs? No! What will you do when someone offers you drugs? No! I can't hear you. Louder! The nation watches as the space shuttle Challenger explodes 74 seconds after liftoff, killing all seven crew members. Can you see it? There is Obviously a major, a major problem. malfunction. Something has gone seriously this could be wrong. A major this tragedy. Chris Emery, who worked in Nutty and Rock from 84 to 91. Lopez had died and gone to heaven. This is the kind of stuff Lopez lived for. He came down, and I think he spent the next 10 hours on the radio just. The space it was like Steve Martin in the jerk. The new phone book's here. The new phone book's here. Lopez case. The space shuttle exploded. It was like a Lopez mega news moment, I think, in his entire career at 98 Rock. A major nuclear accident at the Soviet Union's Chernobyl power station alarms the world as punishment for complicity in the firebombing of a disco in West Germany, American planes bomb Libya. The attacks were concentrated and carefully targeted to minimize casualties among the Libyan people with whom we have no core. Showered in fireworks, the Statue of Liberty celebrates her 100th birthday. Mike Tyson becomes the youngest heavyweight champ ever. University of Maryland basketball star Len Bias dies of a cocaine overdose in his dorm room. Tommy Lee marries Heather Locklear. Hello, everyone. I'm Rudy Miller. And I'm Rod Daniels. Make the switch to the best choice at 5. Live at 5 on Channel 11. TV's top shows include The Cosby Show, Cheers, Family Ties, The Golden Girls, Growing Pains, Moonlighting, Murder, She Wrote, Night Court, 60 Minutes, and Who's the Boss? Yay! The year is 1986. Tin Man star Richard Dreyfus was interviewed by Lopez. Nutty at Rock not only sent listeners to the movie, uh, but put people in the movie. Tin Man was being filmed in Baltimore, and uh, producers asked Nutty at Rock to draw a crowd to Pimlico Racecourse for a racing scene. As many as 700 listeners showed up dressed for the 60s, and uh, Lopez was on hand phoning in uh, live reports and interviewing the stars. That was Sarah Fleischer. Here's Susie Rozier. 1986, we turned on the brand new FM studio here at 98 Rock, and I have the distinction of being the first jock to go on the air in the brand new studio. You have to remember that prior to that, we were working out of a very small, what we refer to as the closet. Big albums in 1986 include the first Van Hagar album, 5150, the Beastie Boys, License to Ill, Peter Gabriel, So, Poison, Look What the Cat Dragged In, and Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet.